You don't need to be in front of the camera to get millions of views on YouTube. These days, AI avatars are taking over social media and they make thousands of dollars without showing their faces. And after watching this video, you'll know exactly how to create a viral AI avatar that can get you millions of views just like these avatars you're seeing right now. And I'm not just showing random examples. I've built viral accounts using AI avatars and one of them went viral on Instagram and YouTube using nothing but the strategies I'm about to share. This is not the thousandth tutorial teaching you how to make some generic low effort avatar that never goes viral. This is the only video you'll need to create a full AI avatar system that's actually built to go viral the same process I used and the same one you can start today. I've watched dozens of those tutorials. I've wasted hours testing tools, creating hundreds of avatars, most of which were completely useless. And that's why I put this together to show you the only method that really works. The avatar you're seeing on screen right now, it's fully AI generated. I switched from my old avatar to this one, and I built the entire thing in just a few hours. And the best part, you can do the same even using free tools. From generating the image, to creating a realistic voiceover, to making your avatar move and speak like a real person. And to do that, we need to start with one question. Why do most AI avatars fail? Simple, they look like AI. They're too clean, too fake, too stiff. And worst of all, they don't connect with people. If your avatar doesn't feel human, it'll never build trust. And if it doesn't build trust, it won't get clicks. It won't get retention. And it definitely won't go viral. So before we even build the avatar, you need to think about this. What's the style? What's the niche? What do you want people to feel when they see it? Because going viral with an AI avatar is not about perfection. It's about connection. And that starts with the image. We're going to use ChatGPT to generate the perfect prompt for your avatar, and here's exactly how to do it. We give ChatGPT an existing avatar to analyze it can be mine or any other AI influencer you like. But here's the key. You don't tell it to copy the avatar. You say something like, I want you to study this avatar and understand the pose, the energy, the background, the clothes, and the overall vibe. Then help me create something similar, but not the same. Make it original and fit for my brand. ChatGPT will break it down for you. It'll say things like, this avatar is sitting confidently, slight tilt to the head, minimalist background, casual clothing with a bold color palette, and a slightly futuristic lighting setup. And that's where the magic starts. From there, you build your own version. You tell ChatGPT, okay, make me a new avatar in that style, but change the face, give him a leather jacket, a digital city skyline in the background, slightly sharper jawline, and cooler colors like purple and blue. And boom, it gives you a stunning image. It gives you a stunning image but it might not be perfect yet. Maybe the hands look weird or the pose feels off. So what do you do? You ask ChatGPT to fix it. Fix the hands, make the pose more relaxed, remove the logo in the background, put a poster at the wall, or make the man have a beard. Every time you do this, it refines the avatar more and more until it actually feels real. Most people never use ChatGPT like this. They generate one image and they're done. But the real secret is in the trial and error part. The more detail you give, the better the results. Think of it like building a character in a video game. So once you've got an avatar that feels real, like something you'd actually want to build a channel or brand around, save the final image in 1080p. Because we're going to need that for the next step, bringing it to life. All right, you've got the perfect avatar image. But now we need to make it talk. And I'm not talking about slapping on any generic AI voice that sounds robotic or overused. This part, the voice, is what separates your avatar from the 10,000 others out there. So let's go into DupDub. This is the tool I personally use for all my voiceovers. Why? Because they've got hundreds of high quality voices and a built-in AI script generator. You can literally paste in your script and instantly get a preview of how it sounds. But here's where most people mess it up. They pick the first trending voice they see, but the goal isn't to blend in. The goal is to stand out. So here's what I recommend. Write or paste your script into DubDub. Make sure it sounds like something you would actually say. You want the tone to be casual, clear, and slightly expressive. Not monotone. Now go deep into the voice library. Try male, female, different accents, different energy levels. Don't just settle for the top picks and try to find a voice that feels so realistic that you won't notice that it's AI. Ask yourself, would you watch a video with this voiceover? If you want to go a level deeper, pick a voice of a YouTuber you really like. Maybe it's Iman Gaji, maybe it's Patrick Beat David, maybe it's someone from your own country. It does, doesn't matter. Drop their name or voice style into DubDub search, and nine times out of 10, it'll find a voice that feels like them. This will find voices that you know can work on YouTube and have already worked. There are multiple options of avatars. Don't try to impersonate the influencer. This just gives you similar voices that sound like an actual human. This makes a big difference. Image, my voice wouldn't be the voice that you hear right now. Imagine it would be something like this. Ask yourself, would you watch a video with this voiceover? So it doesn't just have sound. Real, it has to fit to the niche and avatar that you created. Once you've found that perfect voice, export the audio and save it. All right, now it's time for the most important step, turning your AI image into a realistic, moving avatar that actually feels alive. We're not talking about a simple talking head that barely blinked. Like back in the day when AI was new, I'm talking natural facial expressions, lip sync, body motion, and even hand gestures. 
the type of stuff that gets millions of views because it feels human. And for that, we're using HeyGen. I've tested every major tool out there, free and paid, and nothing even comes close. You can test them out, but to be honest, every website wants money, and if they are free, they will put a huge watermark on the video. But there's one thing people get wrong right away. So listen carefully. HeyGen only accepts 1080p resolution images, or it simply won't process them properly. Not 4K, not 720p, exactly 1080p. And here's why. HeyGen uses the pixels to track facial features, edges, symmetry, and lighting. If your image is too high res, it can actually overprocess. And if it's too low res, the movement looks glitchy or dead. I even asked the support team and they also told me the same thing. So before uploading your AI image, make sure to resize or export it in 1080p. Okay, now to create our talking avatar. There are two ways to do it, and I'm going to walk you through both. The first one is using the brand new AI Avatar 4 feature. With this update, all you have to do is upload a high quality photo of your avatar, drop in your voiceover, click generate, and HeyGen will automatically create a video with a talking, moving avatar that gestures with its hands and looks like it's actually alive. It's fast, it's easy, and the results are insane. But here's the thing, this method doesn't always work with every image. I would try to repeat these steps for a few times and see if that will help the avatar. Especially if your avatar has a strong AI look or overly stylized features, HeyGen might not be able to generate movement properly. If that happens, don't worry. There's a second method that gives you more control. Instead of using AI Avatar 4, go to New Avatar and upload your image there. This might take a few minutes to process. Once it's uploaded, click on the avatar you just created. Now here's the important part. You can actually add a motion prompt before the avatar is generated. Just type in how you want your avatar to move. For example, move hands naturally like he's explaining something, or uh, talks with expressive hand gestures, confident body language. This gives the AI specific instructions to animate the body in a way that fits your voice and tone. Once the avatar is ready, just upload your voiceover like before, and this time, it will move exactly how you described in the prompt. It's a bit more effort, but the result looks way more real, especially if the AI Avatar 4 method didn't work for your image. So those are the two ways to bring your avatar to life in HeyGen. Use AI Avatar 4 for a quick and high quality result, and if that doesn't work, switch to the manual method with a custom motion prompt. Either way, you'll end up with a smooth-talking, full-body AI avatar that actually feels like a real person. This is what makes people stop scrolling. Just look at me, even though I am AI, I can talk and move my hands and it doesn't look weird at all. And if you do it right, this is what gets you those millions of views. All right, so now you've got the full system. You know how to create your AI avatar, how to give it a unique voice and how to bring it to life in a way that actually looks real. But let's be honest, that's just the beginning because having a great avatar doesn't mean much if you don't know what to do with it. If you want to grow a real audience and actually make money from this, what matters now is the content. What you say, how you say it, how you show up online. That's exactly what I'm building a community around right now. A place where I teach how to turn your avatar into a full content system. One that actually grows, gets views, and can start making you enough money to leave your job if you want to. So if you're serious about taking this further, now's the time. Subscribe to the channel, join the community, and check out the next video where I break down exactly how to create viral content with your avatar. This is where it starts to get fun.